Hi friends, in this video lecture, we are discussing the objective questions of heat and mass transfer, which are mostly covered on the introduction chapter. So let's begin. First question is thermal conductivity of water with rise in temperature increases decreases remain constant or may increase or decrease depend on temperature we have to have the idea of the graph plot between thermal conductivity and temperature so if you look in this graph the thermal conductivity of water is decreasing in order with the increase in temperature so therefore the answer for this question is decreases with increase in temperature or rise in temperature next question which of the following material has least thermal conductivity at room temperature silver gold glass brick the thermal conductivity of silver is 429 kilowatt per meter kelvin whereas gold is 317 kilowatt per meter kelvin glass has thermal conductivity of 0 0.78 kilowatt per meter kelvin and brick has thermal conductivity of 0 0.72 kilowatt per meter kelvin so the least one is 0 0.72 kilowatt per meter kelvin so the answer for this question is brick next question thermal conductivity of air with rise in temperature increases decreases remain constant may increase or decrease depend on the temperature the last question it was thermal conductivity of water in this question it was thermal conductivity of air with the same graph when we look at the thermal conductivity of air here it's increasing in order so therefore the answer is thermal conductivity of air with rise in temperature always increases which of the following law of thermodynamics is responsible for heat transfer zeroth law of thermodynamics first law of thermodynamics second law of thermodynamics or third law of thermodynamics the zeroth law of thermodynamics in this we are concentrating on the thermal equilibrium the law itself declares about the thermal equilibrium whereas in the first law of thermodynamics it is discussion about conservation of energy in the second law of thermodynamics we are discussing about the total enthalpy or enthalpy change in third law of thermodynamics we are concentrating on the properties of systems so out of this the enthalpy or enthalpy is proportional to the temperature so therefore the answer for this question is second law of thermodynamics because as the enthalpy increases temperature increases or vice versa as the temperature increases enthalpy also increases next question heat is mainly transferred by conduction convection and radiation in insulated pipes carrying hot water refrigerator freezer coil boiler furnace condensation of steam in condenser the question is asked for which of these all three modes of heat transfer take place in these conditions so the answer is in the boiler furnace in the boiler furnace there is a burning fuel in the middle and there are tubes side of the wall 
so from fuel to tubes and from tubes to water there are three modes of heat transfer take place conduction convection and radiation therefore the answer is in boilers or boiler furnace all the three modes of heat transfer take place thermal conductivity of wood depends on density of material means density of wood or metal structure metal structure of the wood moisture content in the wood or temperature and pressure of the material here the material is wood and the options given are 1 both 1 and 3 both 2 and 4 and all of above in the wood the thermal conductivity take place by all of the above given conditions because to thermal conduction to take place density of wood is necessary and material structure moisture content in the wood and temperature and pressure of the material so the answer is all of above the condition for heat transfer from one body to another body is both body must be in physical contact heat content of one body must be more than that of the other body one of the bodies must have high value of thermal conductivity there must be a temperature difference between two bodies if we look at all these four options the very end first condition for the thermal or heat transfer to take place there must be a temperature difference if there is no temperature difference then the rest of the condition there will no follow up because heat transfer take place initially with the temperature difference so the last option is the correct answer for the question next question arrangement of silver air aluminum and lead in increasing thermal conductivity at room temperature they are asked to arrange the given quantities in increasing thermal conductivity so to answer this question we need to have the idea of thermal conductivity values so in increasing order this is the increasing order so air lead aluminum silver the last option is the correct answer next question a satellite plot in a deep space with very high velocity it will constantly lose heat by convection convection and conduction radiation radiation and convection you can see in the picture a satellite is in the deep space in deep space we should be know that there is no air for convection to take place and there is no conduction mode of heat transfer because there is no physical contact with any other body so obviously the heat transfer should be taken out by radiation mode of heat transfer so in this radiation is the correct answer next question which is the unit of stefan boltzmann constant we have the units this is for conduction convection watt is for power and this unit is 
वाट फॉर मीटर स्क्वेर कैलविन रेस टू फोर इज द यूनिट फॉर स्टीफन बोल्समन कॉन्स्टंट रो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन रेडिएशन हीट ट्रांसफर एमिसिटी एंड एब्जॉर्बिविटी लाइज बिटवीन जीरो टू यूनिटी मोर देन यूनिटी डिपेंड ऑन द बॉडी नन ऑफ अब इन ऑल रियल मटेरियल्स द heat transfer emissivity and absorbivity is always lies between zero and unity so first answer is correct and the remaining are wrong it is very well known thing that in for all real quantities the heat transfer emissivity and absorbivity lies between zero and unity boundary condition of first kind is known as temperature boundary condition heat flux boundary condition convection boundary condition none of above boundary condition of first kind is known as temperature boundary condition whereas boundary condition of second kind is known as heat flux boundary condition and boundary condition of third kind is known as convection boundary condition therefore the first a option is correct option next question the overall heat transfer coefficient depends on geometry of separating wall thermal properties of the wall convection coefficient at two surfaces above all for a system like heat conduction and convection is taking place here let's assume the convective heat transfer coefficient h1 and conduction heat transfer coefficient as k and convection heat transfer coefficient as h2 for this side so heat transfer coefficient for this system we can write as 1 upon 1 upon convection heat transfer coefficient of the first plus length so l upon k for the conduction and again for the convection it is 1 upon convection heat transfer coefficient so by this we can come to know that the overall heat transfer coefficient is depend on geometry thermal properties of the wall and convective convective coefficient of two surfaces this is convective coefficients of two surfaces so the answer for this all of above if you have any questions or comments text in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe because subscription is free and also you get the notification of upcoming videos and please like and share thank you